Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. We are learning how to solve homogeneous differential equations. You observe this question. In this question, they are given that show that given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation and solve it. So here you observe this is the given differential equation. First, I will show that it is a homogeneous differential equation. After showing it is a homogeneous differential equation, I will solve this differential equation. How to show a differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation? You observe here, first two steps we follow to show given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. Any differential equation, first we will write in this form dy by dx equal to f of x comma y. Luckily, here given differential equation is of the same form. So what is f of x comma y? f of x comma y is x plus y divided by x. I'll write the same. f of x comma y equal to x plus y divided by x. Now, now if I am able to express f of lambda x comma lambda y in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y, then I say that it is a homogeneous differential equation of degree n. I'll calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y. How to calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y? In place of x, you write lambda x. In place of y, you write lambda y. Okay. In place of x, write lambda x. In place of y, you write lambda y divided by x. In place of x, you write lambda x. You can observe here in the numerator, we can take lambda common. In the denominator, we can take lambda common both will get cancelled. Then what you will get? You will get that x plus y divided by x. Here 1 is there. 1 can be written as lambda power 0 because we know that lambda is constant and it is not equal to 0. So lambda power 0 value is 1. 1 into x plus y divided by x. Lambda power 0 into what is x plus y divided by x? x plus y divided by x is f of x comma y. So we identified that f of lambda x comma lambda y is in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y. So what is the conclusion from this? Uh, given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation of degree 0. So first two steps are over. We shown that given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. Next, we need to solve this differential equation. To solve a homogeneous differential equation, we will follow the particular procedure. Especially you observe this third step. In Given differential equation, in place of y, I'll write vx and in place of dy by dx, I'll write v plus x into dv by dx. In the given differential equation, I'll put y equal to vx. If you differentiate this with respect to x on both sides, you will get that dy by dx equal to v plus x into dv by dx. So, here, this is the given differential equation. In this, in place of dy by dx, I'll write this. What is that? v plus v plus x into dv by dx dv by dx equal to. In this, in place of y, you write vx. x is as it is only. x plus, in place of y, you write vx divided by ok. Now, v plus x into dv by dx equal to. You observe here, in the numerator, I can take x common. If we take x common, what you will get? 1 plus v divided by x. So, this will get cancelled. What will be the remaining? v plus x into dv by dx equal to 1 plus. Now, you can observe this v will get cancelled, right? What is remaining? The remaining part is x into dv by dx equal to 1. Okay, this is the thing we done by using third step. What we did till now, we shown that given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation and when we identified it is a homogeneous differential equation, to solve homogeneous differential equation, we will follow the particular procedure. What is that? We will put y equal to vx. After differentiating this, you will get this. These two things we will substitute in the given differential equation. And after that, I did a little bit of simplification. Now you see the fourth step. In this fourth step, we from now onwards, to solve this, we will follow the variable separable method. To do the problems based on solving homogeneous differential equation, you must be good in variable separable method. You can observe here x variable dx is there and dv is there. So what I'll do in variable separable method, x terms dx I'll write one side, 
V terms dv I'll write one side. I always know that I need into dv and into dx. You see what you will get here dv will be remaining dv equal to you take this x to right hand side it will become 1 by x and you take dx to this side it will become into dx. I always need into dv and into dx. What happens here x variable dx v variable dv is separated. Now in variable separable method what we do? We integrate on both sides. So integrate. Integral of dv. dv can be written as 1 into dv equal to integral of 1 by x into dx. We know this formula in integration. Integral of k dx equal to kx plus c. Integral of 1 dv is v. And in a variable separable method, to avoid the confusion, we will write plus c on any one side. I always write plus c on right hand side to avoid the confusion equal to integral of 1 by x dx integral of 1 by x dx is log x base e and I will write integral constant plus c. You can observe here v is not a part of the question. In the middle we consider y equal to vx. Here you observe what is v? v is y divided by x. So in place of v I will write y divided by x. y divided by x equal to log x base e plus c. This is the solution of given differential equation. Important point. In solving differential equations, person to person answer will vary. You do not confuse with those answers. Actual point is all the answers seems to be different but actually they gives the same meaning. To avoid the confusion in this, you please avoid test book answer and make sure that you done the procedure is correct. You used the formulas correct. That's it. This Solving homogeneous differential equations is not a difficult thing, but it is little lengthy only. I hope you understand this class.